one of the older churches of the town is St Peter's Church. Uh, it was around, I believe, the year 1060, perhaps slightly earlier, that uh, certain circumstances took place here, which has almost enshrined the church in legend. At the time, there was, at the gate of the church, a lame beggar woman who would sit by the gate each day collecting arms. Also in the church was uh, a semi-retarded lad, um, a, a village idiot type, who would help the parish priest, a man called Brunning, to tend his vegetable gardens. The simple-minded youth was apparently given to visions. In one of these visions, St. Peter had appeared to him and told him to undertake a pilgrimage to Rome. This he attempted to do, but according to the story, having three times attempted to board the boat for Rome, three times he was driven back by a force, uh, something that he described as being almost like an angel. He returned to Northampton, having had a direct message from supernatural forces that there was a friend of God entombed beneath the church. In those days, people perhaps paid more attention to visions than in our later era. The priest was anyway so impressed by the vision that he and the lad went into the church and began to prise up the flagstones to see what might be underneath. The crippled woman from the gate dragged herself into the church to see what it was that they discovered. According to the story, when they prized up the final flagstone, a great light burst out from underneath, which turned out to be the resting place of the bones of St. Ragina, who was the brother of St. Edmund. The two saints had been martyred in November within days of each other, and somehow the bones of Ragina had ended up buried beneath St. Peter's Church. Um, at the moment of their unearthing, as I say, there was alleged to be a supernatural light which filled the church, and the Holy Spirit, in the form of a bird, was said to have flown around the church three times, sprinkling holy water or some form of supernatural dew from its wings. At this, the lame beggar woman uh, was said to have raised herself up and walked. Um, although in my account of the story given in my novel, I suggested that she probably got up and ran.